I asked my group for tedious challenges and attempted the best ones and not the best ones. Starting with stand in the lobby for an hour. Now this is actually one of the better ideas. Basically, I just joined the server, used some tricks to climb on top of the lobby, and placed my avatar on this pillar, where I left my computer running for the next hour. And literally nothing happened. I just stood there for a full hour, like an idiot, and people just walked around in the lobby. Trend of like a celebrity joined or a hacker or something. Still, that is one challenge complete. Bring spawner towers only to polluted wastelands. Makes sense to me. I grabbed a full team. Farm is technically a spawning tower, okay? It spawns money. Matchmaking paired me with this team, and I lost all hope. I placed a gold crook for early defense and started farming. Pasta Cat and CR7 both also brought elf camp. So, uh, combined with my two towers, we soon got pretty stacked lineup of units going in and out. But then, CR7 left, we had no DJ, only Simon had an accelerator, and the amalgamation just spawned. It's a complete disaster, yeah? Painstakingly slowly, we chipped down the mini boss's health, yet it breaks into smaller pieces as it dies, and it was these that we ended up losing to on the next wave. Maybe the problem was like the thematic clash, ice on a toxic map, it is a bit of a stretch, but how about Rocketeer only with support on Rocket Arena? Now to me this sounds foolproof. I grabbed my team and picked normal mode. My thought process being that the extra 10 waves of preparation don't make up for the boss's extra 40,000 health on molten mode. Now, this is a very expensive tower, so I started off farming and skipping waves, getting my first on wave 6. And for the early game, this guy is pretty strong, although mainly against crowds, as it took 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 hits to kill one normal boss. This is the weakest guy. And then the hidden spawned. I'd honestly forgotten about them, and I was ready to lose when I realized that they actually gave this tower hidden detection? Like what? So I sent a mental thanks to the game balancers and continued to place more, eventually capping out and beginning to max them. I got a DJ and three commanders to chain the call of arms ability, and the AoE spam led me to reach the final wave. As I said, this tower is a lot worse against bosses, and indeed the DPS was very low. But thanks to the commander and Rocketeer's massive range, I did manage to kill the Gravedigger and complete the challenge. Next, become a furry. This is dumb, but I did it anyways. I just bought this Roblox hat, equipped some random items to color coordinate, and boom, furry. I decided to carry this power into the next set of challenges, the dreaded win with blank tower only. There's always some jokesters who think to leave these comments, and I will attempt them. Freezer only. This tower literally does not do damage until level 3. You cannot win. And I lost in wave 6. Electroshocker only. Nope. Unwinnable. No hidden detection. I lost in wave 14. Scout only. If I used the gold scout, this would actually be possible, but this was just the normal variant. So, I lost in wave 21 to the Fallen. Sniper only. I think sniper is actually a somewhat underrated tower, but still, it's not enough on its own for Fallen mode. And I lost in wave 22. Next challenge, make a sandwich. I don't even know what this means in the context of TDS. Dare for the viewer, subscribe. Yeah, okay, do this one, I like this one. Buy all the ducky crates. Honestly, the only skin I really want from this crate is the mortar. The others are nice, but I already have multiple skins for each. So, I bought coins and began opening. I got some very good luck by getting the 5% chance engineer first, followed by the other ordinary towers. And, of course, I ended up getting ducky mortar as the last possible skin. These crates are rigged, I am telling you. Beat hardcore with randoms. I got in the game with these two players, Light and GG Man. They defended early, I farmed, we took some damage from Hiddens, and I got an Engineer. Thanks to hardcore price gouging, inflation, I had to save an excruciatingly long time to get an Accelerator, with me placing it just in time for the Mega Slow, and us barely surviving. We did take down the Fallen Reaper afterwards, but then three Shadow Bosses spawned. Yeah, I do not even want to look at this anymore. So what about TDS Blindfolded? Honestly, I didn't think this would be that challenging. Like, TDS is a strategy, not an action game, right? So, I equipped a solid loadout, got blindfolded in real life, and went for my Roblox avatar, and joined the game. The main way I planned to do this was to use sound cues, as TDS has sound effects for pretty much everything. I played it with standard farm into two gold scouts opening, and that worked well enough, as by just spam clicking, I eventually got it. And luckily, this placement was actually really good, it was right next to the path, which couldn't really be said of the next scout. I placed another farm too, and then made the worst mistake of my life by placing DJ, and it promptly began blasting music which made it much more difficult to hear. It was also in a pretty terrible spot, it didn't hit anything. On wave 6 though, I placed an engineer. Beforehand, I had known which key buttons I tied each tower to, which is how I knew what I was placing. 
I got some more scouts, another farm, but I didn't have a lot of DPS since I couldn't really upgrade anything. It was near impossible to find a tower without being able to see. But the first time you place a tower, the upgrade menu automatically pops up. So my plan was just to sit on engineer's upgrade page and spam the keybind. Unfortunately, I somehow pressed 1 instead of 4 or something and placed a farm, which also happened to have the exact same placement sound as engineer, which gave me falsely positive affirmation. So I sat there for a minute and a half, just upgrading this farm to the level 4 for no reason. I then tried to place on this sideways card wall and eventually got an engineer, this time executing my strategy properly and actually upgrading it. I took my first damage from a boss I had leaked and then scrolled the mouse wheel into first person, thinking that might make it a bit easier to find towers to click. But uh, I ended up closing the game window, so yeah. I believe I was about to lose anyways, since I was leaking bosses and shadows, because this was a lot harder than I thought. Still, I might revisit this one day, and try to actually win. So if you want to see that, or any other challenges, subscribe, and join the group if you want to participate. Thanks for watching, leave a like, bye!